Hey, what is going on guys? This is Jake at That Fit Friend, and today I'm gonna to be talking about some of my favorite training shoes for pickleball. Now, truthfully, this is not a video I thought I would ever publish on my channel, but I've had enough comments at this point asking about which of my favorite training shoes for pickleball that I figured I'd discuss four shoes that I regularly keep in rotation for my pickleball play. So if you are like most of us and you're getting swept away with that pickleball craze and you want a singular shoe for working out and wearing to the gym and then wearing to the pickleball court, this video is for you. Now, full disclosure, as you get more serious with your pickleball play, I would highly suggest finding a good pair of shoes designed specifically for tennis and pickleball because that will give you a little bit more when it comes to long-term durability because they will be more tailored to that exact sport. But that being said, let's talk about some of my favorite picks. So one of my top picks is the Noble Court Trainer. So this is a Noble training shoe designed specifically for court sports and working out. So realistically, in the context of this video, it doesn't get more specific than this shoe. And this model has been an awesome shoe overall for pickleball play and for also training. And that's why I wear this shoe probably the most often for pickleball. And now that is for three key reasons. The first reason is I like this aggressive toe bumper. So you get this extended outsole wrap that biases the medial side. And so this gives you a little bit of additional grip, but also protection for this shoe's toe box. So you can see that my outsole is actually starting to fade here, but I have worn this shoe for a lot of pickleball, especially on hot asphalt courts. So I've been pretty impressed with how long this shoe has actually held up and lasted, especially because I am using them too for working out. The second reason why I like this model for pickleball is with this EVA midsole here, you get a nice blend of responsiveness and stability. So you can train pretty heavy in this shoe, but then also wear it for court sports and it doesn't get overly uncomfortable. So I have played probably like four or five five hours at a time with Ben from Wad Prep in this shoe, and it has done a pretty good job. It never got overly uncomfortable, so I like that a lot about this model. The third reason why I like this shoe for pickleball and for working out is for its super fabric upper. So this upper construction has been really solid with its overall durability, and I went with the white colorway because if it gets dirty, it's easy to clean too, so that is a perk with the super fabric upper as well, and the overall security in the shoe is pretty solid. So I think if you want a shoe that has a pretty heavy pickleball bias to it, that is technically a training shoe, the Noble Core Trainer can be a fantastic option. Plus it works really well for lifting, crossfit and cross training, so it is a nice versatile training shoe on top of that. P.S. If you're wondering why the bottom of this shoe's outsole is blue and also why the sum of the upper is blue, I played in a dodgy league the other night that had indoor courts literally painted blue or spray painted, I don't even know, but now my shoes are blue, my white shoes. So I'm not mad, I'm not mad about it. I'm, I'm definitely not mad about it. My next pick is the Reebok Nano X3. So I actually played a lot of pickleball in this shoe during the initial break-in period of this model, which helped accelerate that. So big win there that I didn't realize I was getting at the time. But three reasons why I like this model for pickleball is number one, this outsole tread gives you a nice level of grip. I really like how this tread interacts with different surfaces. Plus it's done a pretty good job with its durability thus far. You get an extended outsole layer here too for additional toe box protection. The second reason why I like this model for pickleball is that lift and run chassis system. So essentially the chassis system that runs through the midfoot into the heel of the shoe gives it a little bit more of a versatile feel so it does feel a little bit more comfortable I think for explosive bouts of training but then also pickleball and it doesn't get overly uncomfortable but a subtle perk that comes along with this lift and run chassis system is that you have a nice level of ankle support here so from the context of multi-directional work on the court this actually gives you a nice lockdown feeling with the boot of the shoe so while I know Reebok wasn't intending it to be used for that it has served a pretty good purpose in the context of giving you additional support when playing pickleball the third reason why I like this model for pickleball is that the flex weave upper I think does a pretty good job with overall abrasion like you can see there are some black marks around the toe box of this shoe but I think as long as you're not like aggressively really digging this toe into the concrete it should last you a while and it gives you a nice level of security and breathability which talking breathability is an area where the court trainer can kind of fall short so this model I think does a little bit better there but overall the Reebok Nano X3 has been an awesome shoe for court sports and it's a little bit wider than the Noble Court Trainer which I'm a big fan of. My third pick is the Under Armour Tribase Rain 5. So this model has also done a really good job on the court and also in the gym. To be quite honest, it's been a pretty good year for Reebok and Under Armour in the context of building really versatile premium cross training shoes. So why do I like the Rain 5? So number one, if you like a lower heel to toe drop with your shoes for both lifting and for court sports, this can be a good option to look into. This model has a two millimeter drop compared to the four millimeter in the court, and then also the seven millimeter in the Reebok Nano X3. So it does have a slightly lower feel to it. So if you do like a flatter shoe, this model should resonate with you overall. The second reason is the Micro G Foam midsole. So the midsole in this model gives you a nice blend of stability and versatility. And once this shoe breaks in, you get a little bit more mobility 
durability up here in the forefoot. So I do like that for both athletic style sessions, hit workouts, and then also court sports where you do need to be a little bit more explosive on the forefoot. And the third reason why this model can work for both court sports and for training is with this warp upper here, you get a decent level of breathability. Like it's not the most breathable shoe on the market, but if you are playing court sports for a longer period of time, this model does a good enough job at breathability where I don't think it's gonna get overly uncomfortable. And it has proven to be pretty dang durable thus far. Like I've taken some pretty aggressive digs in this shoe and you really can't see too much breakdown, just a little bit of scuffing with this warp upper. So in the context of giving you additional durability on the court and also for CrossFit, cross training, etc. I do like the warp upper in this shoe and I like that it gives you a little bit more volume overall too compared to the Rain 4, which is also a model that can technically work in this context. So if you can find that model on sale, you might wanna go with it, but the Rain 5 has been an exceptional shoe both in the gym and on the court for pickleball. Another good option to look into is the Tier CXT1 Trainer. So why I like this shoe for the gym and for its crossover performance for pickleball is for three reasons. Number one, I like the Surge Energy Foam Midsole in this shoe. It's stable enough to train heavy in in the gym, but it's also responsive enough for pickleball and more like athletic style training sessions. So this midsole I think walks a fine line of being dense enough to give you a nice base to drive through the floor with. So whether you're doing plyometrics, multi-directional work or lifting heavy, but then also soft enough to give them a slightly more comfortable ride for longer sessions or longer periods of pickleball play. The second reason why I like this model is its overall upper security. So the upper in this shoe does a pretty good job with security. And if you do like a little bit more lateral support, the shoe should do a pretty good job. You also have a lateral sidewall here with this extended outsole layer and the boot is pretty supportive as well. So if you like additional ankle support, too, then you will enjoy how the Tier CXT1 trainer fits and feels, I think, for working out and for pickleball. The third reason why I like this model for pickleball is you get a good level of traction with the shoe's outsole, but you also have a little bit more arch support and a slightly higher heel to toe drop. So if you are somebody who does like a little bit more arch in their shoes and a slightly higher heel to toe drop, so this model has a drop at nine millimeters, then I think you'll resonate with how this shoe fits and feels, especially in the context of how that's gonna translate to your workout performance, but then also pickleball play. Now, one issue I do have with the Tier CXT1 trainer is that if you're wanting a shoe for CrossFit and pickleball, this model can have an issue with its midfoot durability. So keep that in mind if you are a J-Rap rope climber and you want this shoe for both of those verticals. But overall, the Tier CXT1 trainer does a pretty good job as being a crossover hybrid shoe for working out and for pickleball. Now, two quick honorable mentions that I have been asked about before include the Strike Movement Haze Trainer and the Rad 1. Why did I not include them in my top four? Well, I learned the hard way with both of these shoes that they can be a little bit more prone to ripping because of their upper construction. So over here in the Strike Movement Haze Trainer, I went for a couple of toe drags with digs and I ripped the Jacquard knit upper up here on the toe box. So that's why I don't recommend reaching for the Haze Trainer for pickleball slash workout hybrid focus needs because with the shoe's higher price point, I don't want you investing in this shoe just to rip them after a couple of uses on the pickleball court. With the Rad 1, similarly, I actually love this model for pickleball, but then after about two weeks, I did go for a more aggressive dig, and now I have a straight up hole here at the medial side of my forefoot or toe box. So again, with the Rad 1, higher price point, tough shoe to get. I don't want you investing in either of these models and ripping them up on the court, but these shoes have been great for pickleball, but if you decide to use them, tread lightly because for 150 USD, I do not want you coming back to this video and yelling at me because you ripped your pair. You have been warned. All right guys, that wraps up this video covering some of my favorite training shoes for pickleball. So while all of these shoes can work for more casual and recreational pickleball, like with other types of footwear designed for strength sports and lifting, you'll always want to use the right tools for the job. I would highly suggest getting a good pair of court shoes if you are going really all in on your pickleball play and you wanna get more serious with that because that shoe and that style of footwear will be better for your overall needs. But if you have additional questions on these models or other training shoes that you're thinking about grabbing for pickleball, drop a comment down below and let me know or reach out to me personally, whichever you prefer. And as always, drop a like on the video, drop subscribe to the channel, peace. Thank you.